Democrats win a majority in the House on Tuesday. One concrete, practical consequence of that come January is that the Democrats will take control of all the House committees. And I know that sounds boring, but it's really important in terms of what happens next in the Trump presidency. Even when a party has only one House of Congress, that can still have a really big impact because once they're controlling that House of Cong Congress, they get to conduct oversight of the administration. They have subpoena power to help them do that. Republicans appear to be super worried about that prospect in the context of this being the administration in power right now in the White House. Republicans recently circulated a spreadsheet amongst themselves cataloging all the investigations they think Democrats might pursue if the Democrats take the House. The list had over 100 items on it. If Democrats do flip the House, every committee will have a new chair, a Democratic chair, who will quickly become a household name. The Ways and Means Committee, for example, they're, they're in charge of taxes. Well, if that committee is chaired by a Democrat next year, likely Richie Neal of Massachusetts, that's the committee that could demand Trump's tax returns. The top Democrat on the Financial Services Committee is Maxine Waters. She has already made multiple requests for information to Deutsche Bank about that bank's large loans to Trump, Trump's finances and possible ties to Russia. If Democrats win and she becomes chair next year, those requests could become subpoenas. The Judiciary Committee would be led by New York's Jerry Nadler, and Judiciary deals with a lot more than the possibility of just starting impeachment proceedings. Nadler would likely take steps to protect Robert Mueller and the special counsel's investigation. He could also subpoena Trump's business records to investigate if the president has illegally accepted money from foreign governments. The chair of the House Oversight Committee would likely be the estimable Elijah Cummings. Over the last two years, Cummings and the other Democrats on that committee requested 64 subpoenas on that committee. All 64 of their requests were denied by the Republican majority. And these were about all sorts of scandals. Trump's cabinet secretaries revoking security clearances, using private email for White House business, the president gutting plans for a new FBI building, potentially to benefit his own hotel. All these scandals that made headlines this year but sparked no official investigation in the Republican-controlled House. That would change if Democrats win the House on Tuesday night. But if Democrats do win on Tuesday night, Trump's single biggest worry would probably be this man, Congressman Adam Schiff, who would be expected to take over the Intelligence Committee, which is a position of serious authority. That congressman, who could soon be chairman, Adam Schiff, joins us next. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.